have you ever seen another person? Maybe you got in an altercation with them. You know, maybe they said something about your mama. You just weren't going to stand up for that. Push came to shove, and then quite literally, you started pushing and shoving, and you got in a fight. Today, we're talking about fighting. Specifically, which Final Fantasy XIV characters I think I could take in a fight. At the top, we've got I Would Destroy. Just below that, in my favor. In the middle, 50-50, it could go either way. And then the bad matchups would go here. These are fights that, you know, maybe I wouldn't necessarily... A guaranteed lose but like it's it's a bad matchup for your boy for one reason or another and then i've got what end me let's say you have 10 minutes of prep let's say you know that the fight's going down you're beating up in limza you know there's a, gonna be a crowd forming for sure uh, and you're just here to you're here to fight you're here to rumble you're here to put it all out on the field let's just start off and say i would destroy alpha alpha is a little chicken okay he's a little chocobo chick i would punt him across the room Ardbert would be, ooh, ooh, I think Ardbert's probably like 50-50. If not, maybe a bad matchup. Ardbert's very strong. He is a shard of the Warrior of Light. I think it's a bad matchup, but I ha I'd have a shot. It wouldn't be 100% like I'd be screwed. He would go for some warrior shit. He would try it. He bust out his axe. I don't have an axe. My guitar got stolen, so I don't have that axe. The best we can do is the old distract and detain. Alize would be 50-50. I could physically overpower Alize, but Alize knows magic, uh, which I don't have access to. But I think I could get in. I think I could close the gap enough to have a shot. I think it's 50-50, Beaver Alize. While we're here, we can do Alphano. Alphano, here's the difference. Alphano would plan probably better than I ever would, right? But I could overpower him still. He has no, yeah, he has no physical strength. He can barrier himself with his sage. I'm assuming this is current. He's a sage right now, you know? And even if he, if he was like still using his book, was he a summoner, scholar, whatever? If he was still summoning and shit, it would be even worse off for him. Because what's your goddamn book gonna, your book's not gonna do a thing, you nerd. I'm gonna slap it out of your hand. Alpha Note, I, I could, we could justify putting him in bad matchup, but I think it's 50-50 just based off the strength thing. Chai Nuz, he's a dweeb, and I would destroy him. Actually, you know, homeboy probably does got some kind of contraption. He could Iron Man his way into a fight. We have 10 minutes of prep for this. That's enough time for him to come up with some sort of contraption, some sort of doohickey uh, to, to aid him in battle, being a smart inventor builder type. So I think it's in my favor. I think it's a bad matchup for him. But we did the twins. Let's do their dad. He's a fucking nerd. He does have dad strength, which you have to, you have to respect dad strength. Okay. When you have a child, you get like this, this buff. I don't know what it is. I don't have it. I don't have any kids, but I've seen it, but I don't think he's got the moves. You know what I mean? He does have a lot of power, a lot of like political sort of power, but the forum is all about checks and balances. You would have to have the, like, what was it? The majority of the forum on his side. 70% of the forum on his side to pass any sort of laws that would bend the rules in his favor. I think I would beat him. I th would I destroy him? I would destroy him. The dad strength's a concern, actually, but I think it's in my favor still. He's very tall, which is a, a good thing and a bad thing. You know, he would outrange me, but also if I went, if I got him at the legs, he's going down hard. Asahi is a dweeb and I would destroy him. Actually, this is Fan Daniel. I made this mistake last time. Fan Daniel is a mad. Wait, he could like do magic and shit. He's he's an Asian. Wait, this changes completely. I would be powerless. He could fucking teleport me around. It's Asahi. No, I think it's Fan Daniel. I thought I made this mistake before. Okay, so this one's Fan Daniel. All right, if that one's actually Fan Daniel, I think it's a bad matchup for me. I think Asahi, I would destroy. <sighs> would he just end me though? Fan Daniel's also dude. Yeah, but he's got way more powers. Grahatia? <laughs> this fucking bitch. I would destroy Grahatia. Are you kidding me? What's he gonna do? He's gonna talk about it. He's gonna have a rousing speech about about our battle. And then I'll just destroy him. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm just so happy I got to hang out with you. He could summon from beyond the rift. That's the crystal exarch, though. Does Grahatia still can he still summon warriors from beyond the rift? That's him. No, 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 no. It's different. It's different. You don't understand. I won't disrespect Rahatia any further, but I do not think it's a bad matchup for me. I think it's 
50 50 may be in my favor here's the thing he's an all-rounder i like to think of myself as sort of an all-rounder but there's one thing i have going for me have you guys ever heard of this term jealousy jealousy as a fellow cap i gotta deal with all this grahatia thirst on my timeline all these oh grahatia is my favorite or like oh your cap boy is good but not as good as grahatia i've got pure hatred hatred for grahatia you know a lot of pent-up rage which i think could skew to my favor but real recognizes real and i think this is a 50 50 situation amrick what has he got a sword okay he's got too much armor on what does he actually do he did fight did he fight in the dragon song war is that what we call it is it a bad matchup for me he's really hot he is an unfair amount of hot uh, but looks can only go so far and this is a fight he is taller than me so he's got the length i'm just assuming he's, he's an elf so he's definitely taller he's got the you know it's like when you play you ever play like super smash brothers with a really annoying person and you're out there playing like i don't know let's just say for an example you're playing as luigi right and he luigi's cool and all you know but he's like got to use his hands and his feet meanwhile you got amrick over here or really any tall elves in person and they're playing like marth right they've got a long sword anytime you try to go near them they just bah, they just whack you away I think it's a bad matchup for me. Asinian would end me. I am powerless to Asinian. We all know this. He's literally the fucking Azure Dragoon. Who, who's going to lie and say that they could beat him in a fight? <laughs> you have 10 minutes of prep. Okay, so he has 10 minutes to call one of his dragon boys to come help him. But I would talk a lot of shit. I would talk a lot of shit. Regardless... He could probably get some fucking level five goon ass dragon to show up and that could take me so what the azure dragoon astinian will destroy me that's not even close a uh, gosetsu gosetsu's my man gosetsu is my fucking man my guy my g you know out of all the final fantasy 14 characters in my head canon gosetsu is probably like who my wool is is like most homie with he would probably end me he's like a master swordsman the only thing he i have going for me is speed i think i could outspeed him but if i got anywhere within striking range he would just cut my arm off i could maybe get him drunk but 10 minutes that's not long enough he's not a lightweight look at him i think he would end me emmett selk this this guy how would the fight with him at Selk go? Well, first off, we both have 10 minutes of prep, so he'll come up with a superior strategy than me. Then I will go on the aggression. Uh, I will scream, throw something, and try and close the gap. He will just snap his fingers, and he'll be behind me. He knows how to fight, right? He was in the dungeon. He went in the dungeon with us. This guy spearheaded the creation of Zodiac, I just want to say. He was on the fucking ground floor for that shit. He would end me. Or involved. I think is a bad matchup he's a skilled fighter he's actually really strong actually wait a minute i just push him down a hill uh oh here comes <laughs> here comes our involved uh good thing i've got his weakness over here some fucking stairs i have 10 minutes to prep the fight too which means i could like get a stick and just stick it in his wheelchair wheel and then he wouldn't be able to move Sid Garland, he's stronger than me. I can tell. I think I could have a chance. With 10 minutes of prep, I think I could come up with a plan. Not that is smarter than whatever he comes up with, but I could come up with a strategy that is so outlandish, so off the wall, that he would have no idea how to ex like, like expect it. Like, he wouldn't see it coming. Whatever I come up with, he's not seeing. It's probably, like, the worst matchup in bad matchup. Serena Mole? That's her name, right? I would destroy her. She's weak. She's small. No way she's more athletic than me. She probably can't even throw a punch, dude. She's uh, She's got a good attitude and a good personality. But what's that gonna do when your boy's got 10 minutes of prep? You know, when I, when I crack them knuckles... And I come charging in. I think if I approached her in a, in a somewhat threatening way, she would just give up. She would throw in 
threat. I don't think I'd even touch her. Who's this Wedge, right? I don't really know much about Wedge. He's smart and he's big. I think it's just a bad matchup. Fordola would fucking end me and I would enjoy every last second. I would pay for it. Fordola's a baddie, dude. I love Fordola. He's like a little bit nicer nowadays. She's less of a, a crazed war criminal. She's a little bit on the good side. She had to really earn that though. She's stronger. She's got a lot of hatred. I'm sure she can target that hatred at literally anybody. Isn't she like genetically enhanced now? She's got like the Sharingan. In Stormblood, she had the Sharingan. So I think she wins. Uh, she wins pretty hard. And I would love every second of it. A uh, Dula Chai, I would destroy. She's got the physical strength, which I will admire, but I would simply kite her around. She, maybe she could beat me up close. If she hugged me, I'd be fucked, right? If she got the hug off, Hermes. So Hermes has creation magic. Hermes is sort of already up here. Technically, he's an ancient, so he's like a million times my size. Isn't it like literally like 10 times your size? Hermes would beat me in a fight five times. Okay. Still a lot of size on me. In summon a time god, I guess. I don't know. Okay, this fucking cabbage patch kid. The sylphs. The sylph. The cabbage. I would destroy. You saw the cutscene. You know, you know how this goes. It would be one swift strike. Geralt is ripped and naked and a master creator of weapons. We don't know a lot about him, but we know enough to know that he would end me. I would destroy Gaia. Would I? I think it's in my favor. Gaia has a big hammer and a bad attitude. What's Gaia gonna do? Complain? Okay. Fall asleep for an entire two patches. Okay. So she does have that going for her. Weaponry is huge. But knowing that with 10 minutes of prep, I could come strapped with something. I could bring a weapon. Uh, could she become the 12? I guess she could. I guess I didn't think about her boss form. If it was Gaia the person, I would absolutely fuck, fucking destroy her. If we're talking Gaia, the the god power, you know, the the boss, I it would I would I would get destroyed. I guess we could even it out and say 50-50. Let's just go even 50-50. Because if she's got her powers, I'm dead. If not, she's dead. Well, I don't we haven't clarified if we're fighting to the death or not, but with memory, she'd become the Oracle. All right. It's a bad matchup. It's a bad matchup. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is a bad matchup for your boy. Godbert? Oh no. Godbert would end me. Godbert is more athletic, stronger, more rich, more powerful. Has seen more fights than me. Absolutely. Naked? That's intimidating. Hien would fucking kill. Oh, dude, I would I would be powerless to Hien. I would be absolutely powerless. He's like a not only is he a swordsman of great expertise, he also is the leader of people. He could probably convince me while we're fighting that I should lose the fight and I would fall for it because he's so good at at swaying your opinion. He's so good at, you know, getting you getting you on his side. Arshafont, we all know that he's prone to getting murked. <laughs> Let me let's take this back a sec. He's got a shield. He's got armor. He's a knight, which puts things in his favor. But he's prone to being damaged from a distance. What can I say? I know what will beat him. I know exactly how to beat him in a fight. One could argue that the Warrior of Light already beat him in a fight, but I will not deny that he is a knight, uh, an experienced knight of, of sorts. 50-50. He's an elf. He's stronger. He, he he's, uh, he's taller. He can outrange me. And with the shield... 10 minutes of prep. I don't think in 10 minutes, even if I convinced him to go to the vault with me, I don't think, I don't think it would work out. I, you know what? I think, I think it's a bad matchup for me. Hancock. Remember earlier when we talked about pure rage, uh, or not, you know, a little bit of pure rage, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of anger. I would fuck up Hancock. <laughs> he has no redeeming qualities. His name has cock in it. Hilda? Similar to Fordola, but to a greater extent. Please end me. There we go. So now we've got a new tier list. She also does have a gun. You know, gun is a big factor. I'm starting to realize anyone who has a gun 
just kind of wins. A haircut guy? I think it's in my favor. He's got a he's got scissors. But I could come prepared with my hair already cut. Then what are you gonna do, guy? I think I close the distance, I pin him down, and I cut his hair. <gasps> he probably would crumple if I went after his hair, though. He would either lock up and accept defeat if I got a, a scratch on his hair, or I would cut his hair and he would be sent flying into a rage of like a thousand evil barbers. And then I'd be pretty fucked. <laughs> I'm going to say it's in my favor. Manderville, not Godbert, but uh, Hildebrand. Hildebrand's a bad matchup. Uh, he would end me. Chloe, I would fucking destroy. Oh, I didn't get any lines this week. Are you sure about that, Chloe? Are you sure about that? When am I getting three lines, Chloe? I put Chloe in timeout, dude. That's all you got to do. You don't have to fight her. Magni? Okay. The little son himself. Everyone wa wants to dunk on Magni because he is a little son. He is a little bit of a bitch boy. But you can't deny that in a physical altercation, Magni is a threat. Definitely a better fighter than me. I, I would say that maybe I could come up with a plan to beat him, but he is a literal fucking warrior. Like, yeah, he's kind of a himbo and dumb and a baby back bitch, but he knows fighting. He's going to know how to counter my moves. 10 minutes of prep. I just do a little makeup. I put myself in a cute little dress. I'd have him at his knees. You telling me I wouldn't be pretty? I could pretty myself up in 10 minutes. Let's be honest. It's a bad matchup. A uh, Nero. <laughs> so Nero's smart. He's a Garlean. He's ha uh, He's strong too. I think I know all of Nero's moves. I don't think Nero could surprise me. And I don't think I could surprise Nero because we're just a couple of quirked up blonde boys. You know, a couple of quirked up white boys busting it down sexual style. I think it's dead even. Easy W. Loprit? Doesn't matter who they are. I would destroy them. Especially if it's Pudding Way. Yustola? Uh, I think I would say please end me, Yustola. But let's see. A situation where I was fighting Yustola. Uh, she's probably still pissed about all of the things that I did to her in 6.2 or 6.1. Uh, you know, from starting off at like watching her sleep uh that was kind of that's kind of a thing she didn't like also when i made fun of her for her magical girl spell she didn't like that one bit either i've sassed yustola every time she's ever given me the option also i've flirted on her every time she's given me the option i will never forget the moment in shadowbringers where she tells you to go to bed and then you say yes mommy and then she's like i guess i'll have to bend you over my knee and I'm like, yes, please, please, Yustola, I'm begging. Monago is a skilled fighter and my wife. I think I could take Monago, though. I think I could overpower Monago. It'd be close. It'd be closer than than I probably like to like to say. But we both have like she's got skills. I've got other skills. I think it's a 50 50. We're best friends. Tataru is my best friend. I couldn't fight Tataru. I think if we were in a situation where we fought, I would I would destroy Jataru. Or at least it would be in my favor. Jataru is quick and nimble. Also has needles. And cannot give me my clothes. And I'd be forced into a naked fight situation. Where I, I do not thrive. Mm, but I don't want to fight. You know what? I think it's a bad matchup. Everything outside of the fight means my heart wouldn't be in it. So I'll put Jataru in bad matchup. Thankwood would probably end me. He's strong. He's got dad's strength now. Uh, He's fast. He's an athletic uh, he was once a ninja, now a gunbreaker, uh, that apparently can still use ninja abilities. Explain to me how that works. I don't know. Green, I would destroy, however. What are you going to do? Cry in a corner? We're talking Reen. We're not talking E8S. We're talking just straight up Reen. Okay, she's a ninja. She's got that going for her. She can go into dungeons and do some damage, I guess. Not really very good damage. Green's a ninja in the same way that like Tataru's a warrior. Lise, I think it's 50-50. Lise is a stronger fighter 
then uh cut out for also the riders will probably make it close because it's least they, they fucking love lease thornton he's a fucking old man i'll just push him on the ground he can't get up i won't give him his meds in the morning vothry please end me in a close-up fight what am i doing to vothry i'll punch him a bunch he's not even gonna feel it it's just gonna sink into his into his skin he is stationary so that bodes well in my favor would he not just eat me probably would yeah i think it's in my favor i would need to strategize eh, i would destroy him i would destroy him he can fly it's in my favor i mean if we're gonna bring up the fact that emmett selk has a gun we can't forget that vothry can fly xenos would fucking end me are you kidding me <laughs> xenos is made to fight xenos would probably do better than yeah xenos literally is a fucking god king fighter that's what he does uh yazel bad matchup for me i think physically in an altercation i could take yazel but yazel would say some shit that would make me cry orianje is a bad bitch let's be honest but dost thou have the power the prowess to fight me is my question art thou powerful enough to face thine fists you can't lie to me and tell me that you think Rianje is athletic he could literally filibuster our fight that's a good point also he's got the fucking loprets in the fairies he is a friend of little guys everywhere uh i think it's in my favor then if he doesn't have the power to sick loprets on me i think i could duck his ass Aaronville, please end me ameliance she's a milf she's very strong I milfs are one of my weaknesses, which makes it a bad matchup. I think Yugiri. Oh my God. Yugiri would fucking destroy me and I would pay for it. Are you kidding me? It's Yugiri. She's a ninja and she's a baddie. Master Matoya knows a lot of magic. It's a bad matchup physically and athletic. I have the athletic ability, the physical power. Uh, I'm, I'm what they call in the industry a wild card. I don't know if you know this about me. I'm a bit of a wild card. So I think I could maybe get some blows off, but just the magic. Yeah, maybe I'll punch her in the face, but she's going to light me on fire. Louis, I have a soft spot for Louis Swa. Louis Swa is ridiculously powerful. Literally saved the world from sure ruin. Vana would end me. Bad matchup. Medion, I would fucking destroy this little child. What are you going to do? Fly away? I feel like a fucking menace for putting these little girls on this tier list. <laughs> Sadu is really powerful. Also has no regards for her own safety. The Detharls are fucking nuts. Crystal Exarch would end me. More powerful version of you know who. I don't know. To me, he just seems stronger when he was the Crystal Exarch. Not when he was a bitch boy. Kryle, would I fuck up Kryle in a fight? Me, 1v1, me versus Kyle. Kyle might bully me. I feel like Kryle is fully capable of bullying me in the submission. Use the echo for blackmail. Yeah. It, like if I really wanted to, I could throw Kryle across the fucking room though. These fights can be won by the words you say. It's a bad matchup. Donamo would fucking end me. If I try to 1v1 Nanamo, what am I going to do? Throw a punch? Nanamo will simply stop my punch with her superior strength. Pippin is very strong, much like Nanamo. Size alone is in my favor, right? But Pippin's got a weapon and armor and is a trained combat. I think Pippin's a 50-50 also. Uh, okay, Raubon, he only has one arm. That's a pretty clear weakness. I think it might just be a bad matchup. 50-50, he only has one arm. Yeah, the one arm is a big weakness. And so is the temper. You know what? I'm convinced. That's another 50-50. Never mind. I think I would destroy him. No, I'm just kidding. That's 50-50. Oh, this is Runar. Would I fight Runar? Yeah, I would. Would I destroy Runar? Yeah, I would. I think, I think we've got a solid one this week. You know, we talked a lot about our matchups here. A lot about who would win and a lot about who would lose but let's not forget what's most important is that in this tier list there exists a hypothetical universe where i got to absolutely fucking demolish chloe in a fight 